This is a fertilized egg of a hen. The tiny whitish spot on the yolk is the blastodisc, which corresponds to the embryo bud in a seed of a plant. It's a mass of cells which have already multiplied from a single egg cell following fertilization. The blastodisc is now removed, along with the thin membrane wrapping the yolk, in order to cultivate it with artificial nutrients. The blastodisc is placed in the culture fluid inside out to facilitate observation. This film closely studies the intricate processes of the embryonic development of a chicken. The blastodisc already developing, the stage set for the creation of a life. It consists of a bright central area and dark environs. A portion of this area is cultured separately, showing masses of cells rapidly proliferating. But these cells have not yet differentiated into those of nerves, muscles, and others. They are all identical. The bright area keeps stirring vigorously as it spreads gradually in all directions. Eighteen hours after the start of incubation, some of the cells begin forming a streak. Running vertically in the center, this is called the primitive streak. 22 hours have elapsed. A dark mass of cells appears at the upper end of the streak. This is called the primitive node. It is now slowly descending. This is the forerunner of a series of enormous changes and the chaos on the stage of creation turns to energetic activity to organize life. First, the prototype of the nervous system appears in two dark lines. They join to form what is called the neural tube, which steadily extends. Then a veil-like mass of cells comes up and laps over the top end of the tube, forming the head. The lower part of the neural tube also develops. Then small groups of cells begin to gather along the two sides of the tube in pairs. These are called the somites, which eventually differentiate into muscles and bones. Now let us observe the primitive node, which functions as an organizer to develop various forms and organs of the embryo in the chaotic sea of cells. The dark spot on the blastodisc is a primitive node grafted from another blastodisc. It brings forth another embryo in addition to the one proper to this blastodisc. This clearly indicates the importance of the primitive node upon the organization. The development of the blastodisc continues. This was about 30 hours after incubation started.
The neural tube has extended and the somites are increasing. In the bright area, the embryo steadily takes form. Meanwhile, the dark peripheral area is stirring briskly. Somites have further increased, and the groundwork for the building of the body is being completed. By this stage, the cells have already differentiated into the cells of various specialized functions. Nerve cells extending their fibers. Muscle cells with a number of nuclei in each. A group of epithelial cells to form the skin and the mucous membrane. These are tightly connected with one another. Fibroblasts move about briskly. They form connective tissues everywhere. The cells have indeed been diversified into many kinds with different functions, but they coordinate to build various organs. 34 hours have passed. The upper end of the neural tube bulges to form the brain. Another tube, now developing below the head, becomes the heart. Having acquired the heart, the upper half of the embryo bends forward. The appearance of the heart marks the advent of a new epoch in the life of the embryo. In the bright area, Blood vessels are forming. What appear to be little islands are groups of cells to form the walls of the blood vessels. The dark area now spreads into the sea. Here, yolk granules and cells intermingle. Blood vessels form. Numerous blood corpuscles are also created. Blood now flows through these vessels.
the young heart pulsates vigorously. The tissue cultured cells of the heart, each cell keeps on beating. Blood in the veins steadily streams into the heart, while the blood in the arteries flows out of the abdominal region. The structure of the circulating system of the blood with the heart as its center. Eighty hours after the start of incubation, both the bright and dark areas are filled with activity to accelerate embryonic growth. All blood vessels, both arteries and veins, are collected at one place in the trunk. The system resembles that of the embryo of a mammal, whose blood vessels converge on the navel cord to absorb nutrients from the placenta. The meshwork of blood vessels expands farther and farther as the body of the embryo grows. The blood vessels penetrate into the mass of yolk granules to absorb nutrients. Blood streams return to the heart after absorbing nutrients. number of slits are now seen near the neck of the embryo. These are the vestiges of gills with which the chicken's remote underwater ancestors breathed. But the slits soon disappear. As the embryo grows, its metabolic rate is greatly accelerated. The allantois, a sac to contain wastes, then forms. The streaming blood, furnishing oxygen and removing waste matters. Ninety hours have elapsed. The allantois is seen at the abdominal region. When the temperature is raised, the heart beats faster. When restored to normal, the heartbeat normalizes. The embryo is now demonstrating its reaction against stimuli. And the right and left side of the brain have bulged into the eyes. The white area is the lens. The brain at this stage is merely an empty transparent sac with blood vessels running over it but brain cells will soon fill the space. The cells, differentiated to form the various parts of the body, continue proliferating in a marvelous order. its way toward birth. 